G'day, it's Craig here. I'm going to give you a few helpful hints and tips on installing the ignition wire feed on the new 3-pin Anderson wiring kit that we've got. Now, what we want to do is we want to tap into a fuse that's actually when the ignition is all the way on, as in the vehicle starting. We don't want to tap into accessories, because imagine if you're going camping, you've got your car stereo on, that means it's going to leave your, um, the DC-DC connected all the time and you're going to get flat batteries. So first off, um, I suggest I'm using a fuse tap like this one here. Now, there's always mini blade fuse, you've got your standard blade fuse and micros. They're just the most common ones on the market for most modern vehicles. I'm going to go the mini blade fuse on my um, typical installation. And you can actually find them in just about most automotive shops, like your J-Cars, just about anywhere sells them. So just make sure you know what style of fuses you're using. But as I said, on this particular vehicle, I've got the mini blade fuse. Now to make it really, really easy, I'm also using an old school test light here. So you don't need to read anything as such. All we need to look is for power. So I'm gonna connect this to the earth of the battery. And if we ever get power, as you can see, I've got a nice audible bell and also an LED light. A lot of them on the market are just the light themselves, so you can keep an eye on it. For this particular case, so I've opened my fuse box up and I've had a look at through some of the fuses and as you can see, this is gonna be like most modern vehicles. They do have spare fuses. So not every single vehicle has the, has the fuse in it. And I'm gonna go for my heated seat circuit because I don't have heated seats in this one. And I just had a look on the ignition side and uh, this fuse number here, M8, is uh, ignition circuit for heated seats. So I just need to check that now. So I'm gonna get my test light. And as you can see, I've got no power whatsoever on my ignition, on, on my um, accessories on. So if I just start the vehicle, I'll go back to that same fuse. And as you can see, I've got power there. So I'm gonna use that actual circuit there. Okay. So next, it's just as easy as getting your fuse tap. In my particular case, I'm just sitting in there. I'm gonna run that along there. And the beauty with this particular setup, as you can see, I'm just gonna connect him in there. Run him nice and neatly in my fuse box. I'll probably put a little bit of a notch in there so I'll make it nice and waterproof like everything else. Everything will fit in there nice and perfectly. And there you go. That's how you hot wire up the DC-DC wire to the ignition circuit. Cheers.